The COVID-19 pandemic has limited the number of activities for Amerindian Heritage Month for a second year. However, there will still be some activities to observe during the month. These were highlighted by Minister of Amerindian Affairs Pauline Tsukai during a media conference on Saturday. This year we are still in the pandemic and um, from my understanding our country um, is confirmed as having one of the um, variant that is referred to as the Delta variant and therefore um, we are still in a position where we will not be able to um, hold the level of um, celebrations that we are accustomed to. Activities will commence with a virtual concert on September 1 which will feature artists from the coastal areas of Guyana. This will be broadcast live on HJTV, E-Networks, NCN, MTV65, NTN69 and the Ministry of Amerindian Affairs Facebook page. Another activity will be held on September 10 and will showcase art and craft in honor of the first Indigenous parliamentarian Stephen Campbell. There will also be a series of sampling of Amerindian cuisine at the Ministry of Amerindian Affairs on Thomas Street, Georgetown. There will also be a day of games, cultural display, talent, a marathon and cricket, but spectator free and non-contact. Minister Sukai noted that there will also be many heritage celebrations in several hinterland villages that will be mainly non-contact and alcohol free. We are going to ask also the location where the heritage activity is going to take place that it will be alcoholic free and we will be able to pose um, and to observe all the protocols. We will be providing masks, sanitizers, um, we will have at each occasion, um, you know, medical teams that will encourage um, anyone who may come to the activity to take a test or to um, be vaccinated. These will be spectator-free activities, but of course, um, we may very well have a few onlookers, and that's why we will encourage. Um, the Ministry of Health to participate in these events too. The theme for this year's observance is maintaining our traditional integrity, celebrating our cultural identity. We believe that Amerindians should be proud of their background. Um, we also believe that they should continue to work to sustain their traditional practices by various means. Um, they should uphold their culture so that they'll be able to um, pass it on to the generation, the current and future generation. During the month of September, there will be engagements with the village leaders at the regional level in the interest of protecting the leaders. Because of the large number of villages in Region 1, there will be two meetings in the Maruka sub-district and in the Mabaruma sub-district. The meeting for Region 7 will be in the Lower Mazaruni. Region 8 leaders will meet in the Madi sub-district and Region 9 leaders will meet in Lethem. For the coastal regions of regions 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 10, those leaders will meet at Mainstay Region 2. At the regional leaders meeting, we expect to discuss um, their concerns, of course. We cannot um, not discuss their concerns, their development challenges and of course their priority. Uh, with respect to including their developmental priorities in the upcoming budget for next year, 2022 budget. They will also engage with ministers on the second day and there will be a platform for the regional leaders to elect executive members of the National Tushals Council. All COVID protocols will be observed and locations will have the adequate spacing. 